If you think you have missed the bus with NVIDIA's moonshot stock price over the years, don't worry because Warren Buffett has profited and chances are maybe you have as well. Stay to the end of this video to see how this is possible. Warren Buffett and tech stocks are like oil and water. They don't mix well. The renowned investor is known for steering clear of industries that don't align with his expertise. Tech, in particular, isn't his specialty. It's no surprise then that Buffett hasn't invested in NVIDIA, a company that's been riding the wave of artificial intelligence to massive gains in recent years. But as Buffett missed out on this opportunity, you will be surprised to find that he has indeed not missed out. Despite not owning any NVIDIA stock directly, Buffett has still managed to profit from the company's success indirectly. Berkshire Hathaway's portfolio includes two exchange-traded funds, ETFs, that hold NVIDIA shares. NVIDIA was added to the S&P 500 in 2001, replacing the infamous energy company Enron. In the fourth quarter of 2019, Berkshire Hathaway initiated positions in the S&P 500 Index ETFs and the Vanguard S and P500 ETF. The conglomerate hasn't sold shares of either ETF since then, allowing Buffett to benefit from NVIDIA's soaring stock price. While Buffett has indirectly benefited from NVIDIA's success through Berkshire's ETF investments, the gains haven't been substantial. The conglomerate holds relatively small positions in the two S and P500 index ETFs, with 39,400 shares of the SPDR ETF and 43,000 shares of the Vanguard ETF. These holdings represent less than 0.1% of Berkshire's overall portfolio. Furthermore, New England Asset Management, a wholly owned subsidiary of Berkshire, has also held small positions in both ETFs for several years. These investments have not significantly impacted the conglomerate's overall performance. Although NVIDIA has a significant presence in the S&P 500, with a weight of 7.25% based on market capitalization, its influence was even smaller when Berkshire first invested in the two S&P 500 ETFs in late 2019. Please like and subscribe to my channel to keep up on Warren Buffett, investment investments and business. So how has the Oracle of Omaha indirectly profited from NVIDIA? Stick with me as I explain this as it takes a bit of analysis and deduction. The cloud services industry has been soaring lately, with the top players experiencing significant growth in their stock prices. Amazon, which boasts the leading cloud service platform Amazon Web Services, saw its shares skyrocket by 81% last year and an impressive 20% year-to-date. Microsoft, another major player in the cloud space, experienced a 57% increase in its stock price in 2023 and a nearly 20% rise this year. Alphabet, the parent company of Google Cloud, also enjoyed a remarkable performance, with its shares jumping 58% last year and more than 25% in 2024. The AI revolution, fueled by the rapid adoption of generative AI, has been a game changer for the cloud industry. Amazon, Microsoft, and Alphabet have all benefited from this trend, with their cloud stocks soaring to new heights. These tech titans owe much of their success to NVIDIA's cutting-edge AI chips, which have enabled them to meet the ever-increasing demand for cloud services. Without NVIDIA's technological prowess, it's hard to imagine these companies keeping pace with the rapidly evolving needs of their customers. It's clear that NVIDIA has played a significant role in the impressive stock price gains of Amazon, Microsoft, and Alphabet. However, quantifying NVIDIA's exact contribution to these gains is a complex task. This brings us back to Warren Buffett and his connection to these tech giants. Berkshire Hathaway owns 10 million shares of Amazon, while Neom, a Berkshire subsidiary, holds positions in Alphabet and Microsoft. Furthermore, all three cloud stocks are major holdings in Berkshire's 2S and P500 index ETFs. Here's a twist. If you've invested in the S&P 500 index, or any of the top cloud service providers, you might have indirectly profited from NVIDIA's success. That's right. It's quite likely that you, like Warren Buffett, have indirectly benefited from NVIDIA's success without directly owning the stock. The SPDRS and P500 ETF Trust and the Vanguard S&P 500 ETF are among the largest ETFs by assets under management. Even if you don't hold these specific ETFs, there's a good chance that your investment portfolio includes other funds that have positions in NVIDIA. While these indirect methods of profiting from NVIDIA's success may not be as lucrative as owning the stock itself, they can offer some consolation for those who missed out on buying NVIDIA shares directly. It also highlights the benefits of investing in S&P 500 index ETFs, where big winners like NVIDIA can increase their weight in the index over time, potentially leading to higher returns for investors. So the obvious question is, should you invest $1,000 in NVIDIA right now? I can't say for sure. NVIDIA shows now signs of slowing, however it is difficult 
difficult for such large gains to continue to grow at the same rate. If you had invested $1,000 in NVIDIA on April 15, 2005, you would have $775,568. The question is this, who is the next NVIDIA on the S&P 500?